the wealthy people in Los Angeles are becoming targets as poverty deepens. Hey, everybody, you're watching Bull Boom Bear Bust. And this is no surprise to anyone that's been on this channel. Uh, as poverty deepens, as people get buried further into debt, crime is going to rise, especially in these larger cities. And we're going to talk about how the wealthy people are being followed in Los Angeles. And we know this is partly and likely in large due to the surging cost of living that's pushing people uh, to the edge financially, uh, causing them to do more things like this, like trying to rob people and take what is not theirs. Also, supplier prices surge to all time highs. So what does this mean? This means people are going to be even deeper uh, in uh, financial ruin, uh, people deeper in debt. Uh, the desperation is going to increase, thus crime will continue to increase. We're going to talk about that as well. Let's start right here. And this was out of the LA Times. 17 gangs in LA have sent out crews to follow and rob the city's wealthiest, the city's wealthiest people. So what they're doing is they're looking for people in nice cars, in nicer parts of the, uh, the city, Beverly Hills. They're looking for people with nice jewelry walking down the street. They're waiting outside of nicer stores, um, high-end stores and retailers to follow these people and in some cases follow them home. And we reported a few weeks ago about how there's a big increase in LA's wealthy uh, putting panic rooms in their homes because of the increase in crimes and break-ins. In many cases, they're making off with designer handbags, designer studded watches, and other items worth tens of thousands of dollars and more and then peddling them on the black market to buyers who are willing to turn a blind eye to the underlying crimes. And this is the conclusion of the LA Police Department Task Force, which convened at the end of last year to identify as the cause of a sudden surge in follow home or follow off robberies. And the biggest increases have been in some of the wealthier areas, including uh, LAPD's Hollywood Division, um, also the Wilshire Division, uh, the Central Division, which includes downtown, and the West LA and the Pacific Division. One recent incident shows a woman being knocked down as she gives them her watch to try to then get them to leave her alone. And the scarier part of this is that a lot of these are happening during daylight, right in the middle of the day and the afternoon. So not only is the crime getting worse, um, these criminals are also becoming more brazen. And we should know by now, we've probably all seen the videos of the increase in break-ins to retail stores and the theft and the looting that's happening. And it's no coincidence that we're seeing this uptick um, largely in more expensive states like California. Well, things are about to get better, right? Inflation can't just keep going up forever, right? Well. Not so fast. Uh, supplier prices surge to all-time highs. Now these are in line with wholesale prices, and when suppliers have to pay more, they're going to pass that along to the customers. So for the average U.S. consumer, things are going to continue to get more expensive. Supplier prices rose 11.2 percent from one year ago in March, and that was the biggest gain on record. So the biggest gain in history. Uh, so yes, indeed, folks, more signs that things are going to continue to get worse as this rising cost of living um, buries people under more and more debt. Now, let's transition a little bit here. I'd like to um, have you take a look at some information that a YouTuber put out recently, and it happens to be someone that's also a viewer of this channel. And I'll put a link down below to this uh, video and this person's channel. It's M. Nice. Um, I'm going to show you just a couple clips out of his recent video. And he took the time to point out some items that he has been purchasing and the increase in the price. Here's just a couple examples. Orange juice up 57%. A stock of celery was $1.48, now up to $2.16. Canned peas from Libby's. Um, was 50 cents up to 86 cents. That's a 74% increase. 
Um, so again, everywhere we look, we're seeing that this 8.5% inflation number, what they call the CPI, is way, way off base. Uh, so again, please go to the description down there. I'll put a link to this particular video. And I want to thank M. Nice for commenting here on this channel. And uh, please go over there and show him some love on his channel. Now let's try to lighten it up a little bit, maybe have a laugh or two. But uh, if you're seeing this type of pain at the pump, maybe you're not laughing. But Wall Street Silv put this out here, 2021 versus 2022. We see the man here, um, 2021 with a mask on. We see the gas, 263 a gallon behind him. We see 2022, the same man with the mask on his eyes because he doesn't want to see the price of gas now. And it shows $6.23 behind him 623 per gallon and uh, it looks like the cost of gas is um, so high now that even this man here couldn't afford a uh, different set of clothes because uh, he's wearing the same thing now fringe news put this out on twitter and they mentioned this channel so thank you very much to fringe news uh, the following they want to say it's so bad because of the recall but if you've been watching bull boom bear bus and others you would have already known that rationing was already happening before the recalls on baby formula. Yes, we've talked about shortages, uh, rationing uh, a lot here in the past year. And we're still seeing quite a lot of empty shelves. Here's a report here. Our Target, Kroger, uh, CVS, Walgreens are limiting purchases, also known as rationing, of many baby formulas. So thank you to uh, Fringe News for putting that out and mentioning me over on Twitter. Also, we have Inflation Tracker putting out the following. Uh, when you get a 2% raise, but inflation is 8.5%, then even 8.5% we know is really undershooting the real number. And it shows here, hide the pain, Herald. Uh, a lot of people are doing this right now. They're trying to hide the pain. Uh, they're trying to smile, but you can see the pain in their eyes as uh, people you know, see what's happening to their, uh, their dollar, their purchasing power sinking, uh, their household budgets being squeezed and I think uh, Mr. Hide the Pain Herald right here uh, kind of shows us what a lot of people are feeling right now in the United States economy. Recent article out of NPR, why there are growing fears in the U.S. that we're headed to a recession. Well, anytime mortgage rates rise and it becomes more difficult to buy a home, anytime prices rise like we're seeing, and household budgets are squeezed like we're seeing, well, it's inevitable that um, you're going to start seeing a slowdown uh, in the economy. Now, people will still likely spend more, so spending will still be very, very high. Uh, but at some point, um, people are going to hit a brick wall, and it'll happen in different time frames. And people are going to have to drastically uh, change their lifestyles and start cutting back because... Uh, a bankruptcy surge is around the corner if something doesn't change. And when people can no longer rack up debt on their credit card, when they can no longer take out loans like they used to because their payments are getting late, uh, becoming late, and they're less likely to be able to borrow money, uh, that's when you see spending really hit a brick wall. And that's when you see economic growth stop. And we know that growth is basically people taking on debt and spending. About 70% of gross domestic product is based on consumer spending, and that's mostly based on people taking on debt, swiping credit cards, etc. cetera. Uh, so buckle up, folks. Things are not looking to uh, improve anytime soon. I'd have to say we're only in about the maybe the top of the second inning. If we're looking at a nine-inning ball game for this, uh, we're going to see a lot more uh, things worsening before things get better. And... Um, you know, we just have to continue to know uh, what's happening so we can best brace uh, for what's ahead of us. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Uh, big love to all of you. Bye for now. Peace.